against the energies, right? And uh, making a second video today. Um, kind of like I want to kind of like send you a message out that uh, please be mindful that during your twin flame journey, not all the events uh, of your life are related to your twin flame journey. It doesn't mean that when you see things, when you see situation, when you see a numbers, when you saw in there, um, a lot of the, and this needs to be talked actually, uh, needs to be explained. You need to understand it. That you have to have a balance between your twin flames journey and your material world. Because when you shifting from within the journey and then you're shifting into the material world, you don't have the balance to evolve a proper way within. You don't have the balance within the energies within yourself. And that leads to imbalance, not only within the twin flame connections, but also in imbalance within the, your 3D life. Um, talking about those uh, issues and energies uh, in there, guys, uh, be mindful about this because uh, I constantly see in the people who are obsessed within the journey. And that obsession within the journey, first of all, creates a conflict within yourself, conflict within the, in the connections, but also a conflict within another person. So you basically, instead of healing the situations, instead of looking at situations, you're creating more situations. That is uh, absolutely unnecessary. When you see things within your life that are related to your twin flame journey, they are going to be related to your twin flame journey. When you see things that are related into your life or your personal spiritual evolutions or things that you need to work out on yourself personally, that is your personally. You improve your personally, but it's not because of your twin flame's journey. The twin flame's journey of personal evolutions, guys. And I... Uh, encountering that it's a lot of uh, um, information is out there that people constantly everything is about my twin flame this is like a, I saw this and is that about what does that mean about my twin flame I cut my finger that's mean that he cuts his finger come on guys I, I'm talking you about a little bit uh, within this. Uh, look at inside of you about these obsessions for a minute. I mean, I've been there, been on that road. The way you to heal it inside is like asking yourself and be aware of is like what I was thinking when I was cut myself. But that is not about to have nothing, probably nothing to do with your twin flame. You are not paying attention. Your mind was busy with something else. Something else is going on within your life. For example, you didn't pay attention at work. For example, and uh, that doesn't mean that something happened with your twin flame journey. Okay, you didn't pay attention, and your boss saw it. And now my boss is mad at me. No boss is not mad at you. You are constantly obsessing with the, the things from within you. And encountering a lot of the people who have this obsession. Okay, when you are going out with friends, go out with your friends. You're not going out with your twin flame and your friends within you. They're going to feel the distance. They're going to feel the energies. They're going to feel the things. You're going to enjoy your friends. When you go out to the beach or you're going out to the mountain, you're going out to the hiking, you're going to hike, you're going to enjoy the beach, you're going to do this. That has nothing, not all your events in life are connecting to your twin flame. They're connecting to you. Somehow those events, they're connecting from within you. But they're not all applying for the journey. Uh, that can help you, you to maintain balance within yourself, from within you. But also you to look and personally evolving for that, uh, whatever it's coming for your twin flame journey. Someone's going to say like, well, deal, this is a kind of like a, yeah, there's going to be some touch, 
base point in there. But when you look at it with an attached base point uh, in there, a lot of the people have the tendency to apply absolutely everything. And this is what I'm talking about. Don't apply absolutely everything within this, within you. I'm getting a question says like, I dreamed about this, is that will apply to my twin flame? That's mean that, that he has the same thing. And I'm replying, do you have communications with him? No. Well, if you don't have communications with your twin flame, what kind of twin flame is that? Okay. You have to have a communications from within yourself first. If you don't have communications with your twin flame, you cannot verify this. And if you look at it more deeply, maybe that is a what the fears are, are about. Yeah, I'm going to be triggering uh, some people with this. Uh, that's okay. Dio is triggering. That's his job. But talking about uh, from within yourself, when you look at it in, inside of you, you look yourself in the mirror. Sometimes your dreams, they're your fears. I am afraid of this and I'm dreaming about it because my mind is preoccupied without fear. Is that has anything to do that your twin flame have the same fears? Maybe yes, maybe not. But there is no point you verify it if there is no communications. When there is a communications, you share your dream and it's like, no, I had actually a beautiful dream for us. And you're like, what happens? What is it going on? And that is it, the moment you verify it within yourself that not everything that it happens within it is a related to the twin flames journey it was your fears you need to work it out your own personal fears for you what you knew was that has anything to do with the twin flames journey no it was your personal things that you had to do you have a personal karma that you need to do here you have a family karma that you need to do you have a karmic partner that you have to go with in there you have your twin flame journey that she has to be and then you have your divine karma the karma that you're obeying whatever the divine puts you in the situations within divine energies guys that's what you go because they know the rest okay but if it, there was a damage on the personal karma and the family karma if it, there was a damage with your karmic partner and so on, and you have those fears, the divine says, work on you. That was a building within your personality. Work on your personality, fix your uh, spiritualities within yourself, what you're telling yourself, the philosophy, the way of thinking, that will bring you to the higher level of spirituality and eventually coming to us. You have to be ready with the divine from within. But you have all those fears and all those issues that you have not solved you took everything personally and when are we talking about taking this personally taking personally everything that goes on in your life with your twin flame you're attaching that energy into their twin flames journey don't do it you are sabotaging yourself you're sabotaging the journey you're not focused on that evolutions that you need to do and when I look at it, uh, this inside of yourself, you're going to find the peace with this. You're going to know when other things are coming to the TF journey. And you're going to know the things they are have to do work on outside of that journey. A lot of the people are staying stuck because they don't know which route to go as well. I mean, if you're stuck uh, in there, what is your issue? What is your case? What is your situations in there? What is that all about? But it's inside of you. If you're looking at an outside source for help, you have to be 100% open when you're seeking the help to tell exactly what the issue is. So the person can tell you, oh, well, have you looked at this place? And you never look at it because your obsession, your focus all the time about the twin flame is there within you heal that obsessions that's going to help you to pay more attention on the personal things that you need to do within yourself you have time for yourself as well but that's going to help you to learn the interdependence you you're going to understand when you cross to that threshold of those energies and that threshold is going to help you 
within your journey. You're going to be moving forward instead of staying stuck. Okay, guys? That's all I have for you. It's just a small, clear message for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. And uh, looking forward to talk, talk to you and make some more videos for you. Hopefully, this video helps you out. I really do. All right, guys. Be love. Be at peace. And I will see you soon.